Let's head back to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. I think really to calm Watson down, you know, just to get some of the pressure off of him, is to give him short passes, give him screens, give him quick things, give him the things that we first gave him. You know, I understand that we're trying to utilize, you know, his arm strength at the same time. It's not working. So we're going to have to utilize the short intermediate routes until he's ready to throw the deep balls and utilize the vertical routes and everything else like that. But we just need to get his confidence back. I think that's the big thing that's really killing him. It's just the confidence. Get everybody involved. Don't make it one or two, three players. So continue to spread the world, but do it in a way where it can restore his confidence. The other thing um, that, you know, I've noticed, Brad, they're not utilizing the middle of the field, which he did very effectively with Houston. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. If you think about his completions in the Steelers game, right, like they were mostly to Amari Cooper, and he was mostly really wide open except for the back shoulder throws, which are kind of a low-risk throw, right? Um, it's, he's having trouble, I guess, I, I, I in, in my estimation, he was having some trouble, uh, at, like, anticipating, right? His anticipatory throws aren't really there. It's kind of like he has to see it open to throw it right he's not throwing anybody open you're not seeing him squeeze it into tight windows that shows kind of either you're not he's not trusting his eyes or he's lacking confidence as the caller said so i think you do get him some screens and you try to get him some bubble screens and you run some of the rpo stuff which is quick easy decisions that he can get the ball out quickly to and can be effective uh against a defense like this um to build in the right direction and it, it's like there's a there's such a give and take here there's so many layers to this dave it's hard to really understand uh what stefanski's plan is and what wants and watson really wants because you hear sound bites in the off season like oh they gave me the keys to the offense well and then now we're seeing this and then you know so it's it's quite the enigma right now uh and i i'll be really anxious to see what Stefanski wants to do against this Titans defense because uh, they will be ready. Mike Vrabel, in my opinion, is one of the best coaches in the NFL and he'll have them 100% ready to compete. It, this is this is critical to taking a step forward for Watson, right? And uh, yeah, I, I just, they need to find a way to get him some easy ones, uh, like the caller said. Uh, you said the middle of the field, absolutely right. Maybe you, you know, uh, Injoku seems uh, wildly underutilized so far, Dave. Uh, so that would be a weapon I would be looking to.